Okay, so today we'll try to understand certain uh, parts of this vector algebra. So this is the introductory lecture for vector algebra. Now first we'll try to understand what is the meaning of scalar or dot product. Now suppose vector a bar is a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k and vector b i plus b2 j plus b3 k. Now we know that in this case of the vector which is the quantity, the physical quantity which may have the magnitude. So this is the magnitude part and this i bar it is nothing but the direction part of this. We know that i j and k these are the unit vectors along x y and z direction so vector will be represented by magnitude and direction magnitude as well as direction and magnitude as well as direction now dot product is given by a bar dot b bar and that is equal to a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k dot b1 i plus b2j plus b3k. Now here we know that this i dot i is 1. Similarly j dot j is also 1 and k dot k is also 1. Therefore a1i dot b1i will be a1 b1 only because i dot i is 1. Similarly, a2j dot b2j will be equal to a2b2 because j dot j is 1 and similarly a3k dot b3k will have the value of a3 into b3 because k dot k is 1. So therefore first term is a1b1, second is a2b2 and third one is a3b3. So we can say that this is the scalar quantity that we are having. It is not having any direction part as we can see. This is just the magnitude part. Okay, It is not having any ijk associated with it. And therefore, this is the scalar quantity only. So we can say that scalar or dot product is a scalar quantity. For example, if a bar is equal to some say t 2i part dot i plus 2j plus 5k, then we know that this i dot i will be 1 so it is 2 into the coefficient of this particular term is 1 so 2 into 1 that we have written over here similarly 3 and 2 will have multiplication because j dot j is 1 similarly 4 and this 5 will have multiplication with each other because k dot k is 1 so this is 2 plus 6 plus 20 so that is The next important part is the unit vector represented by a cap. Now as the name suggests this is nothing but the vector which is having the magnitude as 1 and it is given by the vector divided by its own magnitude. So this is the vector and this is the magnitude of the vector. The division of these two will give you the unit vector which is having its magnitude as 1. Suppose a bar is a1i plus a2j plus a3k and its magnitude will be under root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square. So a given vector is a bar that is a1i plus a2j plus a3k and its magnitude this is the bar a bar so or magnitude of a bar that is under root of 
square of these terms a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square for example if you are having a bar is equal to again say 2i plus 3j plus 5t then its magnitude will be given by under root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square under root of so that is nothing but under root of 4 plus 9 plus 25 so that is under root of 20 38 therefore the unit vector will be given by the vector divided by its magnitude so vector is nothing but this 2i plus 3j plus 5k and magnitude is nothing but root of 38. Now if we find out the magnitude of this unit vector, okay, now we know that magnitude is nothing but what? It's under root of some x square plus y square plus z square okay, and therefore this is nothing but under root of 2 upon root 38 square plus 3 upon root 38 square plus 5 upon root 38 square and if you solve you will always get this magnitude as 1. Similarly, we can see the another concept in the vector algebra that is nothing but the representation. How to represent the dot product to find out the angle between the two vectors. So it is given by a bar dot b bar is given by mod a bar mod b bar into cos theta. So cos theta will be equal to a bar dot b bar divided by these quantities. Then what is the cross product or vector product of the two vectors? The most important part. Again, let us assume that a bar is equal to a1i plus a2j plus a3k and b bar is equal to b1i plus b2j plus b3k. Then a bar cross b bar is given by determinant i, j, k, a1, a2, a3 and b1, b2, b3. So it is i, j, k then the coefficient of vector a bar that is a1, a2 and a3 those we have written over here in the second row. Then b1, b2, b3 these are the coefficient of vector b bar which are represented in the third row. Suppose we want to find out the cross product of these two vectors. Then this a bar cross b bar will be equal to determinant of i, j, k, a1, a2, a3 and b1, b2 and b3. Now you can see this a1 is nothing but 2 in this case, a2 is 2 and a3 is 1. This coefficient is 1 over here. Then b1 is nothing but 1 because this is 1i so this b1 is 1 b2 is minus 1 and b3 is what it is 2 so we will substitute these values in the determinant so this is i j and k it's 2 2 1 that we have written over here and 1 minus 1 and Now for finding out the determinant, we will use the concept of these cofactors and minors. So this is plus, this is minus and this is plus. So we will start with i that is this plus i minus j and plus k. So this is i then that is a plus i 
minus j and plus k. Now this i it lies in the first row and first column. So we have to eliminate these elements which are there in the first row and first column. So what is the re remaining is 2 1 and minus 1 2 that we have to write down over here. Similarly this j it lies in the first row and second column. So we have to eliminate these elements the elements in the first row as well as second column. So we will be left with this 2 1 and this 1 2. Similarly k it lies in the first row and third column. So we have to eliminate these elements in the first row as well as third column. So this is 2 2 and 1 minus 1. So let us write down this. So as you can see this is 2 1 minus 1 2 for this i which is lying in the first row and first column. Similarly for j and k. So 2 1 and 1 2. And for k which is lying in the first row and third column the elements are 2 2 and 1 minus 1. Now we will solve this 2 by 2 determinant. This is the multiplication of the principal diagonal elements minus the reverse diagonal elements. So 2 into 2 that is 4 minus minus 1 into 1 that is 1. Similarly minus j 2 into 2 that is 4 minus 1 into 1 that is 1 plus k 2 into minus 1 that is minus 2 minus the reverse diagonal product that is 1 into 2 that is minus 2. So this is nothing but this minus minus will become plus so this 4 plus 1 here it will be 3 plus k and minus 2 minus 2 that is minus 4 so this is 5i minus 3j minus 4k so this is nothing but the vector quantity so we can say that the cross product will always give you a vector quantity that is the quantity which is having magnitude as well as direction this magnitude as well as direction and this is also the magnitude part as well as direction part. So in the next lecture we will see the further part of this.